Yo, what's going on guys? Thank you for tuning into Easy TV once again. And if it's your first time here, thanks for checking out the video and hopefully you check out the channel. Of course, if you subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. But at the very least, if I could ask for those new and old viewers to smash that thumbs up button, that would be greatly appreciated. Now, as you can tell by the title, we've got a pair of Yeezys today, but not only one pair of Yeezys, we have two pairs of that colorway, uh, the Isra Fills or the Is You For Reals or whatever you want to call them. We're going to get an unboxing here, see what my first impressions are, a review, an on feet, hold or sell. We're going to have a nice little video here. And on, on, on body today, we got this, you know, Adidas Trefoil, like 3D uh, stitched shirt. I really mess with it 30 bucks guys um, and it's got a nice little kind of loosey fit goes great with a pair of jeans anyway I just thought I mentioned that pull that out today first time wearing it and I really like it even though I usually don't really mess with the kind of little drapier baggier loosier fit just because I'm a bigger hoss so anyway let's get these out of the box Alright, and before we actually pull the shoes out of the box, I know I didn't really make a release recap video, but I thought I'd mention quickly how my day of the release went. I actually woke up late. By the time I woke up, the sale on Yeezy Supply had already started. And so I just obviously opened up as quick as I could and hoped that I could get a pair. It took a little bit. I kind of had no hope seeing as I woke up late and I really wasn't prepared. To be completely honest, I wasn't really planning on copying these. You know, I entered the Adidas raffle as I do for most Yeezys, and if I hit, I hit. If I didn't hit, I didn't hit. Nor did I think I was going to keep these for the personal at all if I did get them. I was able to secure two pairs, one of my personal size 10 and a half, and then one as an eight and a half. The eight and a half was from Yeezy Supply, so I actually was able to get in there and get a pair. Some people were saying this is a pretty limited release. I felt otherwise, I mean, seeing as I woke up kind of late and still was able to secure a pair. It seemed like a good amount of people had a pair as well, as well as in my local Facebook groups and stuff. It seemed like people did grab quite a few pairs. I'm really anxious to see how these look in person, that green color. I know with the Yeezys, the online pictures don't always do it justice. So first, I'm gonna open up the eight and a half. Yeezy, right there. Boost 350. Moment of truth right here, guys. Ooh. So here is the Yeezy Boost. 350 v2 is refill of course the first thing i notice is the new infinity laces and no tab on the back which is new to me i know it's not new to the yeezy line at all but new to me because it's the first pair of yeezys i've had in hand that haven't had a tab on the back comes with a little card in the box all right now that we got them all taken out the box we got the eight and a half back here the two boxes and my size 10 and a half in hand of course let's do a quick little 360 Again, as I mentioned, those infinity laces. But of course, I'm very happy that I got these in hand. Just to take a look at them, whether I keep them or not is a whole other story, but just to get a look for this color in person. So this greenish, grayish, even a little blue in there is something I've never seen before. And that's something I really love about grabbing a lot of these newer Yeezys in person is that these colors online just doesn't look the correct way in the picture. And in person, these are so dope. <laughs> I, I like these. I think these look cool. I mean, when I first got them out of the box, I was a little on the fence. I was like, that's a cool color on the upper. But then I wasn't sure how I felt about this midsole. And in some lighting, it looks a little bit more grayish. And some lighting looks more greenish. And I'm a fan of this yellowish, orangish stripe going down as well. So here's that infinity lacing system. I'm gonna give it a pull here. As you can see, it just kind of cinches everything. And then you could uncinch it, white boost on the bottom. But really cool shoe here. No pull tab on the back, which you guys let me know. Are you guys more of a no pull tab or like the pull tab? So far, I've only ever, you know, kept a pair for myself that has had a pull tab. I've never kept a pair for myself that hasn't had the pull tab. And, you know, I think if you always give me the preference, I'm gonna prefer the pull tab, but I think it's fine without it. It's not a huge deal, obviously. Um, so I guess some people online and Twitter and stuff really care about whether or not it's uh, there or not, but I don't care. Now, I want to say, apart from just, you know, the color of it and how kind of 
mesmerizing in some way it is just because it's so unique of a color let's talk about this infinity lacing system now I don't know about you guys but the wear the way I like to wear my Yeezys is you know not really tight in a knot like a lot of people I like the infinity laces now I will say at first when they had pictures of it and stuff wasn't a fan but I'm a big fan of the infinity lacing system it's functionality and it makes it look a little more streamlined I don't have laces hanging everywhere and it looks like it's supposed to be like that and you can just slip your feet in if you want to cinch it up you can cinch it up if you don't you don't I think it is a dope design feature that um, shows also that Yeezy and Adidas are, are looking. They're looking and seeing how people are wearing them and they're noticing this was somewhat of a need. Not really a need, but maybe a way they could improvise upon the model in order to cater to consumers' needs, which I think is really dope. And I don't know what it is, maybe because the uh, Infinity Lacing makes it seem more streamlined. I do like the combination of the Infinity Lacing with no pull tab. I think that is a streamlined comparison. As of now, I do think I am going to keep these pairs of 10 and a half for myself but yeah here they are the Yeezy 350 V2 is refills all right so let's talk holder cell and we'll start here with the 10 and a half that I have here and of course we'll pop up the StockX screenshots on this side of the screen as I usually do now I highly suggest also when you guys do buy a shoe and maybe you're thinking about selling it maybe you're not but if you are have even the smallest inkling of selling it I highly recommend day of release after you buy it go follow that shoe on StockX right go like click the follow thing so you can see how the price fluctuates usually obviously after release date for you know Yeezys and stuff like this that are a little more general-ish but not super general they're gonna dip a little bit they go up and then as people receive them they go down and that's kind of what happened here I mean if you think about it, it makes you know perfect sense it's they get released people miss out uh, but they get released and people think oh wow they seem to be more than I thought they go down a little bit you know some people are copying the day after the day after that because they missed out so the price goes up a little bit and then of course as people like me receive our pairs market gets flooded price goes down and then eventually usually speaking uh, not always but slowly but surely it goes back up it's just the nature of supply and demand uh, concept pretty simple that everybody should understand when it comes to reselling sneakers and reselling goods in general but here's the ten and a half and right now this is going for the 260 range ish 265 ish on StockX to ten and a half I do know like literally yesterday or the day before it was closer to 290 295 obviously as people got their pairs that changed things a lot if you were to sell these on StockX right now for that 260 265 you're basically gonna make your money back probably five bucks in profit at most so obviously I would not recommend selling at that price we're not here to drop 200 something bucks just to make our money back of course that's not ideal now if you can sell locally or to your local sneaker boutique uh, for some profit then do that if you don't want to hold on to them i will say i do think as far as a hold or sell goes i do think this is a hold now introduction of the infinity lacing system i mean that could be a, a reason why the price goes up uh, and just pure time after release can be another reason why they go up if you look at the zions i think the zions are sitting around the 290 range right closer to 300 so if you are going to do it i think you should hold them Unless you want the cash now, just sell it locally, but don't sell it on StockX or GOAT. Don't let the fees eat up basically your entire profit margin. But if you could sell it locally on like a Facebook group for $250, $240, um, go for it if you want to get rid of them quick. So here's the size 8.5. And, and again, I'll pop up that little screenshot of the StockX listing right here at the time of recording. And as you can tell, it's basically the same thing. And I don't need to say much more again. If you want to sell it locally, do that. Uh, but even more so probably a reason to hold here it's a money size size eight and a half most likely you're gonna have to go up in value so hold on to these especially the eight and a halfs hold on to these price is gonna go up a little bit and it's just the way the market works you're gonna see a dip always after people receive their shoes around you know that week after the release don't let that uh, kind of affect your knowledge and, and your thinking of the market here hold it's a money size it will be fine and you know what eight and a half smaller sizes you know i think the chicks could really pull this off even better than some of us guys that's it for the hold or sell like i said for me it's more of a hold than a sell right now again there's no problem with taking your profits now however small it may be right 
you need to buy and sell based on your circumstances and if you need the money now and you can't hold on to physical inventory like that that's fine i've done that before as well if you have the capital to be able to sit on these do that that is my ideal recommendation but if you are going to sell now just to reiterate sell locally sell in a facebook group sell on whatever offer up or whatever you usually sell locally on but don't sell on the stock x and the goat and the online sites who are going to eat up all of your profit margin with those fees let's hop into an on fee but for now guys thanks for tuning in to easy tv i'll catch you guys next time mm -hmm.